Welcome to Ventura. It is early October and Ventura is a city in Southern California of about 100,000 people that Ben and I have chose to stage ourselves at for the work week. There's surf waves within walking distance of our boat and a wonderful night like Somehow we ended up here at a Mumford, Mumford, Mumford concert. an intimate theater venue. But most importantly, it's close to the Channel Islands, which Ben and I are so stoked to be spending the weekend at because we have heard so many good things. If you're lost, I'm in it about you and love some baby. Can I hear a word like the undertow? Play a part, never alone. I have been so excited to come here because uh, there is some world class diving here. Snorkeling, a lot of people go to Scorpion Bay to snorkel. We are here in Smuggler's Cove and I have seen so many little dinghies rip in and out with people jumping out of the dinghy and going diving. So uh, we're gonna see what we can see. So as the incredibly eloquent wannabe free diver that I am, we packed up our gear and dinghied over to where the other spear divers seem to be dropping their anchor. For context, California is home to great white sharks. And although Santa Cruz wasn't supposed to be popular for them, San Miguel and Santa Rosa were known for having quite a few. Being from Canada, I have no experience with sharks and I'm not afraid to say that I am pretty much terrified of them. I didn't want to let it ruin my experience or prevent me from getting in the water, so I just pushed through, but I am pretty nervous in this shot. I'm excited and nervous, and I've never done this before. And also, I'm just nervous. Do you want to go first? Yeah, you can go. I'm still just... Yeah, but you're going to swim over, right? <laughs> you swim back. I'm scared. success on our dive mission there earlier the viz was super low but i think we're going to pull hook and go somewhere else we can't get to shore here with bruce and he could use a break so we're going to pull the anchor and uh head around to the other side of the island hopefully the diving's a little better over there ali's pretty keen to get into the diving scene and we'll see if i can pull it off or not with my ears being all screwed up but it seems like the warmer water is helpful for me we'd love to spend a bunch of time here it's just right now it's just not in the guards for us too much else going on with personal life work life uh boat show and prepping to go down the baja peninsula so we'll have to come back someday so beautiful here like the red in the in the cliffs is so pretty yeah i was saying earlier it reminds me a lot of baja all of california does Southern California. It's really nice. So what's up? We're gonna head to Scorpion Bay. Um, just cause our diving wasn't great here and I really wanna try it. Uh, Scorpion Bay is supposed to be some of the nicest. It's a marine park so you can't spear fish anything but it's supposed to be absolutely stunning for kelp beds. So we picked up our anchor and head off in search of better visibility deck. Leaving behind reeling point break that Ben had been surfing all morning practically to himself. We found a pretty cool little nook over here in, I think we're in Big Scorpion. Big Scorpion. 
I'm hoping these, it's this weird, like, unseasonable fog system or cloud system it's in the area, but it's it's sunny where we are, it's just super, barely. Like, it's over there, cloudy, and then over us. East? <laughs> it's like blue skies and beautiful. So hopefully we can keep some sun here where we're at. Sun-seeking son of a bitches that we are. We're, <laughs> we're still drying out from BC. Yeah. We're going to go over that little beach. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then check out these cool caves. I want to go explore them. I can't wait. Unfortunately, the sun just couldn't break through those clouds and the wind turned on. So we called off a diving and took Bruce to shore to run around. No way. You're almost eight. You're going to blow a hip. I don't even understand how this shit happens. Looks like the the pin's still in there. Looks like it sheared right off. The cotter pin? Yeah. I'm glad we caught it, but like how long has it been like this? I don't think we can fix this here. I think we gotta sail without the main sail. I mean, I got a hammer. I could try to, but that's so folded in. Bummer. It's gonna slow us down quite a bit if we're trying to make it to Oceanside or Catalina Island. We gotta make it to the boat show. What will we do if we don't make it there? Oh, a motor. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but we do have a flight to catch and we haven't been sleeping that well the last couple of days because it's super rolly here and it just feels like we just need to get a move on and not dick around with this for a long time. So we're going to just put the boom, strap it down under the deck, yeah. And then I need more main sheets. And throw the mainsail into the boat for now. Get moving. And well, let's get this thing strapped down and get a move on. At least it's not raining. At least it's not raining. There we go. Positivity. It's not raining. If it fucking starts raining though, I quit. Well, time waits on nobody. We had a flight booked to the Annapolis Boat Show that we were due at in a couple days. So, gooseneck or not, we had to get moving. Sad team Canada in this broken state. Well, whatever. Glad we caught it when we did. Just another thing to do. Just another project. It's about 150 nautical miles from Santa Cruz Island to Oceanside, so we made a pit stop at Catalina Island to sleep, not really having much time to explore. I just got back to the boat. Ali has been here for a week since the boat show and I went back to British Columbia to take care of some business. Good to be back. We're down here in Oceanside and while I was in BC, I was able to pick up our new gooseneck. So currently the boat still looks like this. And we're gonna try out the new gooseneck. All right, guys, so here is the new gooseneck. Oh, that's way better. Yeah. 
Um, this is the one that Black Line made for us up in Canada, and then I was going to be in Canada anyway after the boat show, so decided to mail them the old one so they could replicate it and I'd pick it up there because they're the best. And honestly, I just trust them to do good work for us, and I wanted this thing to be perfect. So it does look, I don't have the old parts with me anymore, but it looks identical. Um, so I think they did a really good job. They've gone with a much thicker pin this time, which is good because the last time, like the hole wasn't big enough to have a thicker pin. And the rule of thumb is to jam the biggest thing you can in there. Well, what am I doing wrong then? <laughs> they used a bigger pin, and what happened last time was this pin either sheared off or just popped out. I'm not sure. But then the vertical pin that keeps these two parts together right here, it came up about an inch or two, and then it jammed this way and started chewing into the bracket. Either it was going to go through the bracket and start chewing into the mass, which would have sucked, or it would, it would have just popped out, worked itself loose, and then we would have had a loose boom under load with the mainsail up, and I don't know what would have happened then, but I don't think it would have been good. <laughs> so luckily we got it. Luckily we were able to get this done pretty quickly, and I'm going to get it installed so that we can get back underway. So let's do it. Right over here. fisherman and he told me where we can catch lobster let's go get some lobster Catch us some dinner. Lobster on the menu. I think there's like less than a 5% chance that she'll get one, but we're gonna try. I believe it is a Lobster! Not very deep. Oh wow, that was a solid one and a half second breath hold. <laughs> Same bottom. You need to learn how to free dive and you need a fucking weight belt. This is a waste of time. Surprise, the fisherman's lied to us. I'm gonna go. call that a fail because that fisherman lied to me. There is nothing down there. Also, it's quite hard. I will admit Ben was right. It's quite hard to get down to the bottom when I'm wearing a 5'4 and a weight belt. It was like I was kicking and it just, I wasn't moving. I think you need to focus less on the fishing aspect of diving and more on the diving aspect. Like you need to learn how to dive yeah. and then start trying to harvest the ocean. I am so excited to learn this. Oh. Spear down the ball! Spear down the ball, what up? This is turning into a booze cruise, so there's worse things that could have happened. Turns out spear diving is harder than it looks. But who could really be upset when there's surf waves around the corner from where the boat is parked? And it's parked in a marina that looks like this. Plus, we had our trip down the Baja coast fast approaching, and there would be plenty of opportunity to not only surf, but also improve at free diving. Stay tuned so you don't miss out on that trip. Shout out to our new patron, Julian Swan Smith. Thanks for joining the team, Julian. And if you value breaking waves too and want to see it survive, head over to Patreon and consider supporting the channel. Either that or check out this great video because it's one of my favorites. See you at the next episode. <laughs>